What is up? My name is Rubidium. Welcome to the Crimson Engine. Today we are testing two different 2x1 two LED panels against one another. The first is the industry stalwart, the RE Sky Panel S60. And the other is the Alupo. Super Panel 60. Um, they're the same basic size. Um, they both are able to plug into house power, um, so you don't need a specific generator or um, two-phase power to run them. Um, they both do RGB. The big difference between them is that uh, the Ari Sky Panel is, the list price is like over 6,000, but you can get them for 5,800. The Lupo, on the other hand, is a $2,600 light, um, and it does a lot of the things that the sky panel does for a fraction of the cost. Uh, what are the differences between these two lights? I would say that the most significant difference between these two lights is that the sky panel, um, you know, came out five or six years ago, went on to absolutely dominate the industry, become probably the most used light on set. Um, but the technology behind it, um, the type of LEDs, uh, the controllers, the ballasts are all five or six, maybe even seven year old technology. Whereas the Lupo Super Panel um, is a brand new uh, light that is just being released. So it's obviously taken inspiration from the um, S60 to try and deliver as much as this does in a smaller, cheaper, lighter package. As you can see, the Sky Panel has two ballasts in this uh, large ballast box. It can, you can take it off the, um, the light itself and have it on the stand or on the floor. Um, it has very fine controls up here. Um, it has a little bit of fan noise. Um, and the unit itself is around 40, 45 pounds, um, depending on what yoke you have and how you set it up. So if I take this out, it takes, you know, a larger person to hold. It's not something that you could easily rig overhead and have down because of its weight. Um, it's uh, really well made. It's incredibly um, resilient. I mean, the, the, te the time has tested these lights and found them um, to last a really long time. But uh, it does limit how you can use this light, where you can put it, um, how you can light things with it. Because like I said, putting them overhead is putting, suspending 45, 50 pounds. Um, you really need a pretty significant rig. The Lupo on the other hand, the Lupo on the other hand, I can hold with one arm. Um, it's less than 20 pounds. Um, it's a very easy to um, manipulate, easy to light overhead. It has a similar yoke. You don't need um, a really beefy light stand to put it on. It has two ballasts that can be attached um, to the unit itself. They have this kind of hydro light cable that comes out and plugs into one AC. The fans on it are a lot quieter. Probably the biggest difference for um, location filmmakers is that both of these ballasts can be replaced by a V-mount battery. These um, panels screw off. You put a V-mount battery plate that Lupo also sells and you can run this thing um, for a pretty long time without cables at all remotely. That is a lot harder to do with a sky panel. In fact, it's an impossible to do with a sky panel. You need a different like block battery that weighs even more than the ballast um, on the ground and then you have uh, you know, brings a whole bunch of different issues. So weight-wise, I, I feel like the Lupo has a clear advantage. Um, time will tell whether or not these last as long as the sky panels. They're made out of plastic, not out of aluminum. But the sky panel does need all that extra steel to hold up um, the weight of it and deal with the heat of it. Whereas the, um, the Lupo with newer LEDs, cooler LEDs is able to give a comparable um, light with much less weight, much less heat, much less noise. So the real key question is how bright are these lights? So when we went and metered these at one meter or three feet, this is what we found. The sky panel and super panel are both around the same brightness at 5600. At 3200, you get a little more brightness um, maybe about 20% more brightness out of the Lupo super panel. When you move into the pure colors, you're getting about twice the brightness out of the sky panel. So 14 versus 800, um, these are all in Lux. 
3100 versus 1800 and 30 versus 17. It's interesting to see how the pure red is about half the brightness in both the panels of the other two colors. Um, I guess that's to do with uh, how difficult it is to make red LEDs. However, when you add the Super Panel 60 Duo Color, which is not RGB to this, suddenly you get a much more directed source, but much, much brighter, five times brighter, 33,000 lux. And it remains about the same brightness um, at 3,200. Both these allow, units allow you to control it with DMX, um, both in and out. I didn't test that, it's not really my area of expertise. And I think most independent filmmakers will be just using the units um, piecemeal. Back when I reviewed the um, Red Helium 4K versus the C200, what I found was that 90% of the features of the Red Helium, maybe except for resolution, um, and maybe half a stop of dynamic range are in the C200 RAW. It's a lot easier of a camera to use, the C200. Um, and the red was five or six times the price. Now, <clears throat> you're unlikely to go out and buy five C200s instead of buying a red, but that's not quite true of lights. It's incredibly useful to have more than less lights. So to be able to buy two of these for the price of one of the RE Sky panels is, you know, for me, not even a question for an independent filmmaker. You're able to do far more setups, you have far more light with two lighter, smaller, potentially battery powered lights than you are with one brighter um, single source. Our key light here today is the other Lupo Super Panel 60. It is a dual color, um, not an RGB, and it is even less, it's maybe $1,800 um, retail. Now it's also a big soft source, but it is, in much, much brighter than both of these lights. We metered it at one meter at daylight at 30,000 lux. So you can, for the price of this one light, get an RGB light for when you need um, color effects and a super bright two by one source um, for the same price as the sky panel. So you can basically get two lights um, that outperform any individual feature of the sky panel for the same price as the sky panel. That's not to say the sky panel is a bad light. It's definitely proven itself as an industry standard and it's what a lot of people expect to see on set. But we've had this conversation a lot on this channel, hire a camera or a lens or a light because that's what the client expects is really you know, leaving a lot of money on the table and kind of taking the easy way out. My personal preference is to get the best tool for the job at the lowest price and then educate your client or your producer or your um, people about why this is better, uh, why the choice you've made is the best for the job. Don't leave, um, don't leave money on the table. Don't feel pressured into um, talking about how beautiful the emperor's clothes are if you feel like you have a better way. So that is my look at the RE Sky Panel S60 versus the Lupo Super Panel 60. We're here at Macam in Van Nuys in the Los Angeles area. They have both of these units available to rent and to buy. If you're in this area and you're curious about one of these lights, definitely click the link in the description and come and check them out. Thank you very much for Macam for letting us film in their showroom. I'll be back next week um, we're at NAB checking out everything um, that's coming out in LED cameras, lenses, filters, and focus technology. So um, I'll also be updating kind of stories on Instagram. So check that out and uh, I'll see you next time.